Hello guys, my name is Ruola Olaifa. Today we'll be looking at the power of computers and learn how they work. People use computers to do incredibly complicated tasks like guiding airplanes, operating medical equipment, organizing information on the internet. Computers can do a lot of simple steps very quickly. Digital computers understand two things, ones and zeros. So, all computer data are represented using binary. Binary is a number system that uses ones and zeros called bits. These bits can be grouped together into bytes. We'll talk about bytes later on in the video, but first, let's talk about bits. A bit is atomic, which means it is the smallest unit of storage. A bit stores just a zero or a one. In the computer, it's all zeros and ones. So anything with two separate states can store one bit. In a chip, it is stored in electric charge. It is one when the charge is on and zero when the charge is off. With just two numbers, computers can do amazing things like holding all of the numbers from zero to 31 as shown in the slide. To work out the value of one of the five bit binary numbers shown above, you multiply the first bit by 16, the second bit by eight, and the third bit by four, and a fourth bit by two, and a fifth bit by one. Then add all the numbers together. The next slide shows how bytes are measured. Byte is a unit of information storage. A document, an image, a movie are all measured in bytes. One byte is enough to hold about one typed character, like a B or a C or a Y. So 100 type letters take 100 bytes. All storage is measured in bytes. Kilobyte is about a thousand bytes. Megabyte is about a million bytes. Gigabyte is about a billion bytes. And terabyte is about a now, trillion bytes. Now let's look at the ASCII code. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is the system of coding text so it can be processed by computers. Every letter of the alphabet has an ASCII code which is made up of ones and zeros. ASCII is an encoding representing each typed character by a number. Each number is stored in one byte. Like what, what we have in uppercase A is 65, uppercase B is represented by 66, and lowercase A is represented by 96. Now let's make a binary necklace using our ASCII code. For this project, we need number bits of zeros and ones, a tray, and a cord. Place some of the digital bits and three small yellow bits on a small tray like this. As shown on the slide, find the first letter of your given name and the first letter of your family name. Sort the bits by lining them up on the tray to create your initials in binary code. Place one yellow bead at each end and one in the middle to separate the two letters of your initials. I have already sorted mine. I'm going to use WO. WO is 0101011 and O is 0100011. Tie a loop in the end of a necklace cord to stop the beads from falling off. Keep the beads in order and thread them onto the necklace cord. Now tie the other end of the cord.
and this is how we make our own digital thank you guys necklace. for watching this video is powered by intervention for science education foundation